This is Stormy. She's my new Tennessee Walker. I just bought her uh, about a week ago. I did rather than just start out uh, gating and gating fast and you know doing the flat walk and doing the running walk and even trying to teach her to canter because she doesn't know how to canter. I'm just starting from square one with her. I've already taught her a few things so she may be kind of good at it but this will help you anyway um, if you don't know what to do with starting at your horse you know at square one putting a basic foundation on them. Um, of course you want them to be able to lead and you don't want the horse invading your space and so if you have a pushy horse that's always trying to come into your space you can keep them at arm's length just by you know or even your elbow just by if they try to push in on you um, doing that and then another reason I use the rope halter is because they do have these pressure points on them and you want them to be paying attention to you so if they look away from you you want to pull their head towards you like you saw me do with her she's got pretty good manners so she's not the greatest horse and that's why I'm doing it out in the open she's not the greatest horse for demonstrating um, poor manners but I'm also going to do a few desensitizing things just just a couple a day you know that I work with her on so that I don't overwhelm her so the first thing I'm going to do is let her know that these tools that I'm using this uh, stick and string or you can use a lunge whip whatever you want to use and the lunge line is not here to hurt her but it's just a tool so I'm just gonna go out here and do it now so this is desensitizing to the stick and I've already let everybody know who my favorite trainer is so you'll probably recognize this She's blinking and very relaxed. This doesn't scare her at all, so I can, but what you want to do is you want to do this until your horse relaxes. If your horse is moving away from you as you do it, you keep the rope about two to three feet long and stand at a 45 degree angle, and you, you just go with them, you go with them until they stop, and they will stop. But she's, I, I can't demonstrate a bad, bad ground manners with her because hers are so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and reward that. And I'm gonna do the other side because they, have, they do have two, uh, they think on both sides of their brains. And sometimes a horse will be scared on one side and not scared on the other. Now again, if your horse moves away from this, you just follow them. Let, let them go around and around until they stop. And when they stop, when they relax, you reward them. And you know, you wanna get your horse to where you can throw things at them. So you wanna do things like this. And again, if they move away from it, you just keep doing it. Like, see how she stepped away just a little bit. So I'm gonna do it again. And now she's relaxing. Do it over her neck. And around her head. You know, you don't want them to be head shy. And all of this, you just do it standing at a safe ang angle, 45 degrees from their shoulder, until they relax. Relaxation is seen by licking the lips, um, chomping the mouth, dro dropping the head, or just standing still for 10 seconds. I hear a lot of people ask, what is yielding the hindquarters? This is yielding the hindquarters. The first thing you do, you, you want the horse to recognize your body language. So when you move toward them, Toward their hindquarters, you want the hindquarters moving. Okay, and she moved, but she didn't move fast enough, so I'm just gonna tap, tap her on the side a little, not to hurt her, just to tap, tap to make her want to go away from it. Tap, tap. And that was a little quicker. I'd really like to see a faster response than that. That was pretty good right there. 
So that's yielding the hindquarters. You want them to, when you move toward their hindquarters, you want them to move their hindquarters away from you, keep their nose and eyes on you, so that they're always paying attention to you. And you can, and this is the kind of stuff that when you do this, it makes you a horse that you can stand there and have a conversation with your friends without getting pushed all over the place. Not, not real responsive and fast, but pretty good. So I'm just gonna give her a little tap. Now that little tap might have meant something more, so. So you can see I get a little better response now. Whoa. One thing you can do, I teach my horses to ground tie while I'm doing this by going, whoa, stand. Good girl. But I still don't let her invade my space. Whoa, stand. And with the rope hanging down on the ground, you're already working on the ground tie. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Now, I want to work on yielding her shoulders, her forehand, which she doesn't do very well yet. So I'm going to take this rope and I'm just going to push it in the direction and tap her on the side here. Okay, I got that step. Now I'm going to reward her. Eventually, what you want to do is be able to do a full 360 with one back foot planted. Okay, and I got the crossover of the feet that time, so I'm real happy with that. And she's yielding her hindquarters. And reward. So we need some work on the hind quarters, I mean the four quarters. 